Now I'm going to show you how to scan your picture slides negatives onto your computer using a device. First thing you need to open up this program called Launch Image Scan Tool version 2. It'll look like that. Open it. Okay. Since it's connected, the view window is going to come up. Right now, it's going to go ahead and make a couple of selections. We'll start out with the picture and we'll select the scan quality of the picture. There's two options here. I always try to pick the highest one just so we could get the best quality of the picture. Once that's done, then you go ahead and move to the setup of the scanner. Whenever your scanner is on and hooked up to the computer, you will see the light down here and the scan bed uh, illuminate through the gap here. And here we are uh, going to go through some of the parts that makes uh, the scanner easy to scan photos, uh, negatives, and slides. Right here is a picture frame. And the picture frame, insert the photo here, crimp it down. This will be your picture tray. Go ahead and insert it into the bed, and that will scan the picture. And as soon as you insert the photo, the image will come out on the preview window. And right here, you can always do your color and brightness adjustment. You slide these back and forth to change the contrast or brightness. I usually prefer keeping it default and standard the way it is. And I can always adjust the pictures after I'm done. And as you can see, there seems to be a tiny particle here, which I could see from the preview window. I'm going to go ahead and pull the photo back out to examine it to make sure there's no dust particle in the picture. And it seems like dust particle, I'm going to clean it with a brush to get rid of it. And there you go. Now I reinsert the picture and that particle should be gone now. And there you go. The particle was right here and now it's gone. This picture is black and white and the brightness you could just do here. Once the picture is nice and like the way you want it, go ahead and push the copy on the top of the machine. Photo will be scanned into the computer. And you could continue doing this process until all this is filled up or whenever you're done with your project. When you're done with your entire project, you go ahead and click save. However, make sure you rename all your saved photos to a different name before you start on another project because the program only label them photo 1, photo 2, photo 3 every time you start a project. So if you do a new set of project, it's going to overwrite the previous set if you don't change the name to something else because you're thinking that you're making doubles of something and you'll overwrite it. So the best way is always name it after you done with the project into your picture folder. Next we're going to start a scan on negatives. So what we do is we'll remove this photo tray. Right here is strip for negative films only. So your negatives goes into it and you crimp it down just like how you deal with the picture and it's one strip long. Whenever you're scanning slides or negatives you need to use this backup like reflector on and it goes in the back like this from the back side and I'll show you that in a minute comes with a brush you can use this to clean out your negatives and slides just in case they got particles or dust onto them they would destroy your picture if they're not clean negative film strip should look like this and this little bar goes right between the pictures. Have put your negative films onto the right position. Insert it into your machine. When you insert it in your machine, there's little clicks. The first click will show one picture. Don't forget to put in your reflector for the back. And as soon as you put on the reflector, the program automatically detects that it's on the negative uh, option. When you want to scan this picture, all you do is push copy on the machine. And there you go. That's the copy of the picture you want. And up here, you could change it 
uh, rotate it any way you want delete it if you don't want to keep it every time you push in the slide you'll make a little click that identify the next And you see on this preview viewpoint, put copy again to copy into your system. And um, right here is a, a slides only tray. And same thing like the negative only tray, you just open it up and cram four slides down. So it would look like this. So four slides. And uh, with the arrow pointing that way. Set the setting to slides on the program. The program is really good at adjusting the color properly. Same thing like the negatives. You just, you just push the copy button on the machine. And that picture will be scanned into the computer. Once in the computer, you could still rotate it if it's not the way you need to have the picture or you can mirror it by flipping it over sideways facing the other direction so either way it's uh, fully adjustable and you can always crop it and do other stuff later after you're done with the project and like before if you want to leave the program go ahead click save to save all this and make sure and that's very very important that you go back and rename all these pictures in your picture folder make sure that it doesn't get overwritten when you start a different project the next time and after you're done go ahead and click exit to exit out the program